right so this is the third part of the how to comic style uh, photograph if you didn't see the first and the second part just check the d description below and you know now uh, we're gonna do this first of all like uh, merge everything by pressing ctrl e and see before and after now we're gonna do a little bit of retouching to this uh, image so make a new layer and we choose a healing brush tool in here and we sample all layers you know you can see like this and then this by pressing alt like so so not that much but I think like you need like to work more if there is like more like places to retouch so it looks fine for this purpose of the tutorial so let's do just one more in here okay just merge that all right now we'll go to layer new layer go to layer new layer or press Shift Control N and let's call it Dodge and then or Glow. Okay, now we just put it in overlay and we check this fill with over overlay natural color. Okay, okay. Now we go to the brushes and you know we choose a uh, six percent opacity. Zero hardness, and you know, we start like making highlights and shadow for the glow. So, just you know, by choosing the white color, make it like more shiny for the clothes. Like so. change it to black and we do some shadows
Alright, you can see the difference. Here is like the... Okay, now we'll make uh, another dodge and burn. So go to higher new layer and this make dodge and burn. And let's put it in soft light and fill with natural color click ok now we just uh, get it to 5 now we just we start applying some some lights and shadow to the, the head so let's start with the highlights Add some shadows. Okay. As you can see, there's a lot of different. Right, so let's add a little bit of detail.
Netflix Pro as you can see that's the touching and burn in here you know you just need like to add as much details as you can the image all right now we just merge everything and you know we try to apply our uh, all your paint but in Photoshop CC like there is no such feature so no but you know there is a uh, uh, an alternative that does like a really great job and you know you can find it in here I will put a link in the description so you can download it oh it's called gray gray saturation and it's, it's really cool like you can just download it there's a direct direct link to and yeah download it and install it okay so uh, so now go when you merge everything in here so let's just make a copy of it and you know just leave uh, one with no all your pointing in here and make go to filter noise gray duration in here as you can see I already entered the uh, these uh, these numbers and as you can see it does like a really nice job it look like it's painted so press ok alright as you can see it does a really nice job it looks really cool so let's just you know, put everything in a group in here don't delete this dodge and burn layers we'll use them later now I won't like leave it like this so we we'll make a uh, in this layer make a layer mask press like alt one click we choose uh, this layer in here and choose a brush 20 opacity now let's make it bigger a little bit like so you know just start painting in the area we choose white color let's just start painting in here. like so All right, so just know, you know, I just didn't like uh, go too deep for this, but it looks fine for for a tutorial results. So, so I did it in here. Okay, now we just merge everything in here. But you can add more in the clothes if you want, but. Just you know, trying to fast this because it'll be a long video. Now, uh, when you're done like with this oil thing, like, you go back to the dodge in here. And, you know, just copy it. We we'll make it above this one. As you can see, it's give it more depth to the image like this. So you reduce the opacity to 50. We we'll put it above the painted picture. Let's give it like more plastic, like 
kind of effect, like, as you can see. Click scope. All right. Now we'll merge everything. The pressing control, shift, alt E. Let's put everything in group. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Let's see what went from this to this. 